Some medical academics are worried that countless studies into dementia prevention and treatment are being delayed because scientists are struggling to find the right participants in research projects. Here's Yun Hee Jeon, who's Professor of Healthy Aging at Sydney University. Yun Hee, thanks so much for coming in. Thanks. Can you outline the problem for us? So, um, one of the biggest challenges researchers for dementia researchers is to find right people to participate in research. And often because there is still a great deal of stigma in our community, and people often don't feel comfortable talking about it. So there aren't enough people who are putting their hands up and saying, yes, I'd like to take part, or is it That's that they're right. not being forwarded to the right projects? It's one, both? both of them, yes. So what, what are you proposing? So um, Step Up for Dementia Research is um, an online postal and telephone service that connects people interested in volunteering for dementia research with researchers recruiting for their studies. It's like an online dating service in the way it connects, it matches people with um, studies um, based on their characteristics mm -hmm. like age, location and diagnosis. And it's um, open to anyone over 18 with or without dementia. So different research projects are focused on different things. That's, that's right. That's the key thing. Yes, yes. So we have a matching algorithm that allows for research studies to find their relevant participants in the way that they could benefit from. So what's the, the result of the present system of not having the right people taking part in the correct research project? I mean, I have been doing research in this area over 20 years, and I've seen uh, studies being delayed over a year, and the budget's blown out. And this impacts significantly on the advancement of science. When people take part in trials, is it yeah. uh, in order to uh, to forward research, or is it that they're actually trialling a new treatment? Um, so our service is not actually a research project. We are matching right people to write studies. So once people sign up to our um, registry, people can be contacted by researchers um, who feel that these participants have the best chance. This is the case of people who take part uh, in dementia, Yunhee, uh, the projects, they have to give their consent to do so. So That's they right. really, it has to be early on, yeah. you know, dementia sim symptoms for them to be able to do that. That's right. So um, dementia is an umbrella term that covers a range of um, disorders impacting on the brain. And people with dementia, their symptoms um, can vary, ranging from very early to severe stages. And um, people often underestimate the ability of a person with dementia who can um, express their wishes. And it's really important for uh, the people living with dementia to be involved in decision making, to participate. Um, having said it, we, our service also have means for their families to assist with the providing proxy consent for the initial expression of interest. And a lot of dementia patients and their families do want to take part. That's right. Stage. Yes, we know um, people touched by dementia often want to give back and our service will provide the public um, the opportunity to have a voice and, um, and also contribute to the future of dementia research. Yunhee Jeon, Professor of Healthy Aging at Sydney University, thank you so much. Thank you.